Hey everyone, so in my last unboxing video, I thought I was unboxing an Eastern Musk Turtle, but turns out I ordered an Eastern Mud Turtle. So I found him a home since I don't need a mud turtle for my programs. I specialize in our native ones to Wisconsin and Minnesota, and I had to order new turtles. So I have another unboxing video for you here, and hopefully this time we actually have the Eastern Musk Turtle. Let's see what we've got. Oh look, a bunch of freebies again. And I ordered the, these, this stink pot from the same spot I did before, which is turtlesandtortoises.com. Oh cool, that's a new one. So we've got a bunch of Zoomed paraphernalia. Get rid of these. Now I have been letting the box sit for about half an hour since it is a little cold outside, so they should have been warmed up to room temp at least. And that's still warm, so that's good. Wow, they gave us a whole jar of turtle food. Mud and musk turtle food, that's awesome. Oh, and here they are. Now, I ordered a mail, and the people at turtlesandtortoises.com were awesome. I think it was actually Jay who I was talking to. Uh, he's He included a female, too, so that I can have a pair, and it was just to kind of help pay for the fact that I had to buy shipping twice since I ordered the wrong one first. But here they are. Wow, you guys are so little. Now since these are the stink pot, this is actually the one that's known to smell really bad when it's scared. So hopefully they're not too scared. There's one of them. We've got, oh, it's just some tissue paper underneath you. You are cute. It looks like you are the male. Your eyes are clear. You're looking good. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put you in here for now. Oh, and they included a bunch of freebies again, too. Look at that. So that must mean that this one... Yep, I believe this one is the female. And you look pretty good. That's just... Okay, that's just tissue paper. Look at all these spikes that she's got down here. I'll try to focus on her. She's got all sorts of little spikes by her tail. Really cute. Look at you. I don't notice the smell at all, so that's good. Huh. But we'll see. Put them back here. So they look to be pretty good. They're actually getting pretty active now that they're warming up. The female here has an interesting hole in her carapace, and the male, I noticed, has a nick in his, and that's likely because these are from what I assume, wild-caught specimens, which I do feel bad about. I tried to ord captive-bred specimens first, but they were all out of those, so I did end up getting these instead. But the ultimate goal is to be breeding these two stink pots so that I can offer a captive-bred alternative to further wild-caught turtles. And they'll be used in educational programs, so they will be put to good use. Now this is Wisconsin's smallest native turtle species, if you can believe it. These are close to full grown. They only get about four inches long as an adult. And when they hatch from their eggs, they're about the size of a nickel to maybe a quarter. They're really tiny and just adorable. The stink pot has poorly webbed feet, so they spend a lot of their time on the bottom of the water foraging for food. And they also have a tough time swimming around or getting back up to the surface, so they climb rocks and driftwood and plants to get back out. So I've actually added some plants and some other structures to my turtle tank to help them out with that. Now the stink pot has a hinged plastron. Right here is a hinge and they can move this part of their shell in. It's a poor hinge, they can't move it as well as some other turtles can with theirs, but it's enough so that they can tuck themselves inside their shell when they're scared. So overall these two seem to be in pretty good shape other than a couple previous wounds that seem to have healed over just fine. So they should make an excellent addition to the turtle programs.